This might be TMI, but I just left the doctor's office. I made an appointment because all my friends always tell me that I'm deaf. Like, they tell me something. I'm like, what came out of my ear? I can't even describe to you. It was like the size of my pinky. I clean my ears every day, and that's probably why it was so blocked in there. I push it in because I use a Q-tip, which I know I'm not supposed to. If you're not supposed to clean your ear with a Q-tip, then what in the world of wax are you supposed to use? Let's talk about it. Well, firstly, it's important to know that even though we're obsessed with removing earwax, it's actually beneficial for our ears and serves a protective function against dirt, microbes, and even insects. That means for most people, those who don't get wax build up, then any cleaning method, especially Q-tips, is unnecessary as the skin constantly grows outwards carrying wax with it. But for those with dry, impacted earwax, that affects your hearing, then using specialized drops like olive oil or peroxide can help soften that wax and allow the skin to carry it outwards, reducing your reliance on washouts. Washouts can still be used as a last resort, but once your ear is clean, then using drops once a week should help it to stay that way. 